Gerald in Ann Arbor, Michigan wrote to me and he says, Paul, I am a professor ooh, at the University of Michigan Medical School in computational medicine and bioformatics. <laughs> you know what's terrible about this? I don't even know what that means, but it definitely sounds impressive. So, <laughs> good. <laughs> I, I am impressed. Uh, I, I'm trying to decide between the purchase of a CyberShaft OCXO external clock versus updating my AC cords from Nordos Frey 2 to Valhalla 2. Spousal concerns <laughs> and my own sense of fiscal responsibility suggest that I should choose one or the other. Probably good advice. Any advice is appreciated. Well. Um, I'm not a big fan of external clocks. And we don't talk about this enough, but I think it's important because there's a lot of people that really believe, people here, that have heard huge improvements going to an external clock. And I can't imagine why that might be. So, uh, and, and a lot of people say, well, what the hell is he talking about? All right, so DACs have clocks, right? The word clocks, bit clocks. And the quality of that clock, whether it's low jitter, whether it's fixed or, uh, you know, and how stable it is and all of that is very important to, to sound quality. And noise, okay? So... Some of these DACs have the ability to get the internal clock out of there and hook an external clock into it because the external clock has oh, like an oven or it has some way to keep it uh, far more stable and long term. So I want to talk about that real quickly. Long term stability in a digital audio clock is meaningless. It doesn't mean a thing. The fact that it can keep time from today and it's no different a year from now, makes no difference. We can't hear that. So the only reason that you would want to hook up an external clock to get some benefit is if it provides lower noise, if it provides less jitter. Those are things that are quite valid and are something that should be considered. So I don't know your particular clock and I don't know your particular DAC. So that's something on you. You're going to have to figure out, do they do that? Every clock that I've looked at, every external clock I've looked at, its big pitch is stability. Long term, it has, you know, it's accurate to femtoseconds. We don't care about that. Accuracy in a clock down to that level, you cannot hear. So, again, cleanliness, low jitter, if it's advertising those things, then maybe that's a good way to go, and that would probably be the biggest difference. My guess is that you're going to get the biggest improvement out of those power cables. And I, I don't know particularly about Valhalla's. Um, I've never used Nordos cable, so I don't know. But I can tell you that you can often get an immediate improvement off of changing those power cables, and that's probably something that you should be able to take home and try. I don't know that I would go for both. But, yeah, keep the spouse around. She's probably lovely. <laughs> and she tolerates you. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. I, I got the same thing going on. Okay, so best I got. Good luck with that. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. Bye.